What's up everyone? Welcome back to Blade Bias. Today we're going to go over the Balasong news for, I guess, last week, because I'm filming this on a Sunday, so it's not really this week. Um, two main topics that I want to go over. Both of them, not the best, but one of them is more of a kind of, it depends on what your opinions are, rather than being an objectively bad story. And then the other one, I think, is just an objectively bad story. Um... First off, let's just go with the easier one. NRB has announced the retirement, as you all know, of my precious Nemesis V2, my favorite trainer, bar none, possibly even my favorite battle song if my Kraken didn't exist. Um, and he said in the post that he was discontinuing it and he was going to replace it with a lighter titanium design that he was really excited about. I was somewhat excited to see it but since i love the design of the nemesis so much i wasn't really sure what it would be or if it would be kind of worth it and then he revealed the s light or the slight and i looked at it and i thought oh it's just a, a heavier ultralight that's cool i didn't realize it was titanium at the time till about a week later when it was brought to my attention when i was doing a stream and then i realized uh the slight is what the nemesis died for and that is kind of the reason that I'm not super happy about the change, just because I think the Nemesis had so much personality to it. And I just, I love the Nemesis so much. I am like ultra biased because I do love it so much, but the slight just doesn't do it for me. The spec sheet, uh, and especially the looks, it just looks kind of boring, I guess, with the whole pattern and the, the Tonto blade. It's like... You killed such an extraordinarily unique looking Balasong with this like this awesome blade shape. The way that these handles go together with the blade shape, the the speed channels on the side. And it just it just doesn't look the best. For me personally. I know there's some people out there that like it. In fact, most people probably like it. But I am unfortunately uh, not one of those people. So that's a bit sad. The new age of NRB. It seems to be the Vortex V2, Koenig V2, which are both fantastic. The Vortex V2 has some great changes that he's making to it, including a, ch a speed channel milling, sort of similar to the Kraken, actually pretty much exactly like that. Uh, and then the Koenig V2 has been received very, very well. But the Ultralight and the S-Light, I just can't get excited for. I don't like, a, I don't want to try, or sorry. I want to try it. I don't want to own a metal trainer that has the same weight of plastic balasongs that I already think are too light. And the slight is just like, I don't like it just because it killed my favorite trainer. But to each their own, NRB is doing some cool stuff. Uh, so definitely go check that stuff out. Now, moving on to the worst story. You might remember last week we talked about Flytanium and their handling of the Fry... What the hell is that thing called again? The Tater Song. Their handling of the backlash of the Tater Song was not good. Um, actually, a few hours after I recorded that video, they reversed course and they made some comments on their posts available again. Not all of them, and they still limited them, but it was a step in the right direction. And then later in the week... They made a post about the uh, Tater Song launching and disappointingly was like, hey, if you want this product that everyone has been asking for and that made sense to make in the beginning, which is a bushing version of the <coughs> a bushing version of the Flytanium Lucha, not the Flytanium Lucha, a bushing version of the Flytanium Talisong Z, which is on bearings. Um, a lot of people have been asking for that. And also some blade for like an old trainer or a mod that they make. I don't really remember what it was. Um, but apparently it was something that people have been asking for. They were like, hey, if you want these two things that you've been asking for, you got to buy the Tater Song because we're going to use the money that we make in the Tater Song. Uh, to make that product and it just it rings so hollow because you get this sense of like uh yeah we wasted our money on a cap or on a venture that wasn't going to go well uh and now you guys have to pay for it so instead of doing what the 
good option was. We made a dumb product. We priced it in a stupid way. We handled it in a stupid way that basically ruined our reputation for a little bit. And now you guys have to pay for it because if you don't buy our stupid product, then uh, you don't get the thing that you have been actually asking for for a long time. And then they went on to say, sorry about the... Uh, Sorry about the, the deleting the comments and not enabling comments in the last posts. We dealt with the social media intern that did that. And it's just like, oh my God, dude. You're really going to blame that PR nightmare on some intern that you hired to run your social media account? What's next? Did that, did that intern also come up with the idea for the, for the Tater song? Is it his fault that you guys made that thing too? That... Anytime a company says, oh, hey, sorry about the uh, the terrible thing that we did. It was an intern. It's just them shifting the blame because obviously the intern isn't the one just posting at the will of himself. He has to go through checks, I would imagine, with higher ups to make posts on social media and to make decisions like that. You can't just blame it all on some new guy that you hired and oops, it's not our fault. He's gone now. It either you're either pawning off the blame on someone who's just trying to do their job and follow your orders or someone who never even existed in the first place. And I don't want to point any fingers, but I very much so de detect that one of those things is true with this situation based on how Flytanium has handled it. So just an awful, awful response from them. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how their, how their reputation continues in the community because i don't see it staying spotless i'm not sure it was spotless but i don't see it staying as good as it was before seeing how unprofessional they've been in handling the whole situation but uh i guess to each their own there's not really an opinion to form there but unless you think that they're perfectly in the right which i'd be interested to hear your side but yeah to each their own i guess anyway I think that's pretty much the news for this week. Sorry if I missed anything. I have been, uh, as you can probably tell, sick and just trying to focus on recovering that so I can continue doing uh, videos like this and studying for the incredibly busy month that I'm going to have. Probably no main channel videos for a little bit just because things are, uh, things are heating up at school and I got to put my focus into that. Oh, it's snowing out. Can you guys see the little bits of snow that are flying by? It's in New York for the first snow to be halfway through November is very, very odd. Anyway, I'm rambling at this point. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.